Hi, uh, my name is Kit and in this video I'm going to explain how to use the hand positions videos. Now first up, if you have never done a Reiki course before, then you can start watching now. Uh, your first step is to learn how to do Reiki to receive the initiations and then you can try the hand positions yourself. So if you can already do Reiki, then these videos are for you. Now they're going to be most useful for beginners, but even experienced Reiki practitioners might want to try these and you might find it a pleasant change from what you normally do. So what's in the videos? Well, each one is a set of hand positions which you will follow as you do a treatment. There's a bell which will tell you when to change and there are photos to show you where to put your hands. Now some of the videos are for treating yourself, uh, so you can use them at any time that you want to do with self-healing. You could be in bed, you could be on a couch, uh, it doesn't matter. Just follow the positions and start practicing. Now the other videos are for when you're doing a Reiki treatment for someone else. So when you've decided self-treatment or treating somebody else, next you choose how long you're going to do the treatment for and then you can get started. Um, but I'm gonna give you a few more hints just to, uh, just to get you ready. So sometimes you're gonna hear music and sometimes silence. Many people find that switching between music and then silence helps them to reach a state of deep calm very quickly. Also, you always need to be comfortable. So if you're holding a position and it doesn't feel comfortable, then you can move around. You know, maybe you're sitting, you can shift a bit, or if you're standing, you could change your posture somehow. And you can always change the position slightly too. Uh, so for example, uh, in the video, you will see the model lay her hands on her heart, um, quite high up on her chest. You might want to move them and have your hands a little bit lower down. All of these positions can be varied. And that's one of the most important things to remember when you use these videos. Uh, they are not prescriptions and you don't have to follow them exactly. Quite often you will have an intuitive sense of where the Reiki needs to go. And you might not understand consciously why this is. But deep down you will have a feeling of, of what needs to be done. So you should always trust this feeling it's more important than what the video is telling you. So if the bell rings and you think, hey, I'm not ready to move on to the next position, then don't. And if your intuition tells you that you need to switch it up and go to a different, a different position, or even a totally new position that, you, that you've never seen before, but you just feel this needs to happen now, uh, then you should trust that. I really hope you find these videos useful. And if you do, don't forget to share them with other Reiki people who can benefit. Uh, and one more thing, if you'd like to get an MP3 version, so an audio only version, then you can do that. Just follow the links below.